Today is the day, y'all. The new short block showing up from Rick Crawford Racing. If y'all would, please go ahead and start off this video by hitting that like button. Hit the subscribe. Get ready to leave some comments. Let me know what y'all think. In this crate, we've got a short block assembled from Rick Crawford. So, we're going to break open this box, see what we got inside. I also got a Rick Crawford cam. Also got some valve train goodies. Stay tuned. There it is. Got the crate doll taken apart. Got the short block there. Pistons, everything in there. Crank in there. Got a cam. Got some valves. All right, we're gonna get inside and get it unwrapped. Start going through it, what we all got here. All right, so here's the valves that we got. We'll just go over them real briefly. Got some LS3 hollow stem intake valves from Rick, which he also back cuts. So these are going to take the place of the heavy standard valves that were in the heads and man, I can feel the difference, just the weight difference between that one and this one. This is much lighter than this one here. So yeah, so we're gonna get rid of those heavy things, them heavy valves, put in all these light intake valves. Look for a video on that when I'm assembling the heads here shortly. And we're gonna weigh the difference between this valve and this valve. And if you haven't seen already, you can catch a video of when I was disassembling the heads and the weight of these valves. And I also talk about how much these will probably weigh. It's really crazy though. You can feel in your hand how much heavier and lighter the difference is between those. So we got eight intake valves, back cut from Rick and hollow stem at that. So they're lightweight. You always want a lightweight valve train. All right, y'all, we also have a Lunati performance cam by Rick Crawford, custom spec by him. Uh, open it on up, take a look. Brand new Rick Crawford Racing Lunati cam. So, got paperwork in here, got a cam card, some nice decals. So, no information about this. I'm not going to give y'all everything quite yet, but I am going to be the first and only person so far running this spec cam from Rick Crawford. Nobody else has this cam. Nobody else has run it yet. So, I'm going to be the first one to give it a try. And, of course, everything from Rick, you know, he puts a lot of thought a lot of effort in everything he does, so I'm sure that it's going to perform good. Of course, I always go for performance first, sound second. So, I will give y'all one little detail on this cam. That's all we're going to look at one right now. So, I'm going to give you a little specs right here, but I'm not going to give you everything yet. There you go. That's the duration. 239 intake. 255 exhaust at 50. 239, 255. That's the cam I'm running. Maybe later on I'll give y'all the uh, some other specs. We'll see. But for now, that's what y'all get. 239, 255. Remember that Shigong cam was 233, 248. So we're stepping it up even bigger than that 233, 248. Again, no knock to the uh, Shigong cam. The guys over at Dead Cave Motorsports, Matt Owen and all them, great guys. So I'm coming to the CTSV from the G8 world. And so I've always been a big fan of Rick Crawford and what he does. So I wanted to get a Rick Crawford built short block with all his specs in it. And I wanted to change it up, obviously, with this uh, short block and you'll see part of the reason why here in a minute why I went with a bigger cam and some different specs 
when you see what the short block is. So 239, 255, first person ever to run this cam from Rick Crawford, right here. All right, y'all, here it is. Here's the new short block from Rick Crawford. So what we have here is Wisco forged pistons. We've got a LSA block that has went through the machining process. There's been different edges and things cleaned up that I've seen around different areas. Different little edges smoothed out. We've got a Lunati forged crank. Let's rotate down over and take a look at the bottom side. All right, so as you can see, we've got the Lunati forged crank. It's got a four inch stroke. So as y'all may have figured out by now, this is a 416 cubic inch stroker and the LSA block. We've got ARP main stud kit, ARP fasteners all the way around. We've got Lunati H-beam rods with ARP fasteners as well. And let's see, let's see where I can show y'all a good picture of it. Down there, you can see the bolt that's blocking off. It's really hard to see. It's down off in there. All of the oil piston squirters have been blocked off. So no oil piston squirters. As you've seen in the other videos, there'll be no oil cooler. So as you can see, we've got a welded on reluctor wheel to the crank. So yeah, it's built really, really strong. Rick Crawford did all the assembly, shipped it out to me all the way from North Carolina. All the various plugs are already in it. So now it's gonna be ready to start assembling. Gotta put the flywheel and the rear plate on the back. We've got spacers here for the winded tray. I've got to make sure that it clears with that four inch crank. Got to put on the oil pump and the timing set and cam and everything and assemble it from here. Get ready to go back into the car. So let me know what y'all think. I'm excited to see how this 416 performs and the cam that I showed y'all. I'm excited to see how that cam performs. I know and trust everything that Rick Crawford does and I'm sure it's gonna perform really well. But I'll do videos as I go through and assemble it. Y'all let me know if you've got any special and specific things that you wanna see as I'm assembling it. If there's some stuff that y'all wanna see or know how to do, I'll try to take certain videos that'll help y'all out or things that y'all are interested. So let me know in the comments what y'all think. So the compression on here, some of y'all may be wondering, I'm gonna run a little bit north of a 11.1 to one. So it's gonna be just a hair over because the heads are milled just a little bit. So some say, you know, oh, it's uh, built for boost. It's like 9.1 to one or nine and a half to one or 10 to one, but no. It's not, not the way that, uh, that Rick Crawford likes to build them. And I like to run higher compression as well. And it'll be running pumpy 85. So it'll handle it just fine. All right, y'all hit that like button, hit the subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Thanks.